Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to install VPN using RRAS Remote and Routing Access in Windows VPS. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. In order to install VPN using remote and routing access on your Windows VPS, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Add remote access role from the server manager. Step 2. Allow RDP port in NAT services and ports. Step 3. Tweak the setting of the user used to make the VPN connection from client remote machine. Step 4. Configure the client machine to connect to VPN server. Important information. Here, we have used Windows Server 2016 as a demo. You can use the mentioned steps in the video to install VPN using RRAS remote and routing access on any Windows Server OS. Let's see the steps in detail. Step 1. Add remote access role from the server manager. In order to add a remote access role in your Windows VPS, you need to log in into it. Here, we have logged into our demo Windows VPS with an administrator user. Go to the taskbar and click on the Windows Start button. After then click on the Server Manager option. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name Server Manager. Wait for two minutes to allow the server to finish all the internal processes. Go to Configure this local server section and click on the Add Roles and Features link. By clicking on it, one window will be opened with the name Add Roles and Features Wizard. Click on the Next button to proceed further. In the Installation Type window, select the role-based or feature-based installation. And click on the Next button. In the Destination Server window, check to select a server from the server pool. You will see your server with the host name or computer name in the server pool. Click on the Next button to proceed further. In the Server Roles window, select the Remote Access Roles and click on the Next button. In the Feature window, you do not have to make any changes. Simply, click on the Next button to proceed further. In the Remote Access window, you will get a brief description on the Remote Access service. You can read and understand it. Click on the Next button to proceed further. In the Role Services window, you have to select the first two services. First one is Direct Access and VPN RAS Service. And second one is Routing. Once you click on the Direct Access and VPN Service, one new window will be opened with the name Add Roles and Features Wizard. Here, the server needs to install some required applications such as Remote Server Administration Tools. Role Administration Tools remote access management tools, to install direct access and VPN. Click on the Add Features button to install it on your Windows VPS. By clicking on it, the window will be closed. Select the second option Routing. And click on the Next button to proceed further. 
in the Confirm Installation Selections window, you can see the roles, role services, and features which you have selected to install it on your Windows VPS. If you believe that you have selected any role services or feature by mistake then you can deselect it by clicking on the previous button. If you are sure that you have selected all the roles, role services and features are correct then click on the install button to install it on your Windows VPS. Once you click on it, the installation will be started and it will take several minutes to complete it. Once the installation is completed, you will get a message on the screen. Configuration required. Installation succeeded on your server. Click on the Open the Getting Started Wizard link. By clicking on it, one window will be opened with the name Configure Remote Access. Select the third option Deploy VPN only to configure direct access and VPN and click on it. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name Routing and Remote Access. Select your server and right-click on it. After then click on the option Configure and Enable Routing and Remote Access. By clicking on it, one window will be opened with the name Routing and Remote Access Setup Wizard. Click on the Next button. In the configuration window, select the third option Virtual Private Network VPN Access and NAT. After then click on the Next button. If you are getting a warning message that less than two network interfaces were detected on this machine. It means that your VPS has only one NIC. In order to proceed further, you need to enable a second NIC on your VPS. You can enable it by installing a loopback adapter in your VPS. We also have a video on it. You can search it with the name How to Install and Enable Loopback Adapter in Windows Server in our YouTube channel. Let's continue the tutorial. In the VPN connection window, select the network interface which has a public IP address with the proper internet connection. Here, we have selected network interface name Ethernet as an example. Because it is our primary network interface. The second is created by loopback network adapter. Click on the next button to proceed further. In the IP address assignment windows, you have to select the method for assigning IP addresses to remote clients. Here, you have to select the option from a specified range of addresses. After then click on the next button. In the address range assignment window, you need to specify the local IP address ranges that your server will use to allocate IP addresses to remote clients who connect to this VPN server. To add an IP address, click on the new button. Once you click on it, one new window will be opened with the name new IPv4 address range. Here, you have to define the local IP address range. In the Start IP Address field, enter the IP address from where your range is started. Here make sure that the Start IP address is the same as your internal network's primary IP address. In the End IP Address field, enter the IP address from where your range is ended. Here, we have added this local IP address range as an example. In the Number of Addresses field, you will see the total number of the IP address in the given range. Click on the OK button to add it. 
By clicking on it, the IP address range will be added and you will see it in the address ranges section. You can see that IP address ranges are added. If you think you have added it wrongly then you can edit the existing added IP address by clicking on the edit button. If you want to delete it and re-add it again then you can do it by clicking on the delete button. Click on the next button to proceed further. In the managing multiple remote access servers window, you have to select the option. No, use routing and remote access to authenticate connection requests. Because we don't want to set up this server to work with a radius server. Click on the next button. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the routing and remote access server setup wizard. Click on the finish button to close the window. By clicking on it, one pop-up will be opened with a message for DHCP relay agent. Click on the OK button. Once you click on it, the system will initiate the process to start the routing and remote access service. It may take a few seconds to complete it. Once it is started, you will see a green mark in your server name. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to add remote access role from the server manager. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, Please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.